Hi there. Um, just wanted to do um, another little update. Um, my last update was uh, giving you the big news that we were expecting. And that's very exciting news for us. So we have, uh, we've, we've been taking care of things that have to do with baby and life and family. And excuse me for a moment while I switch my glasses and sunglasses. <laughs> um, yes, so we have been doing a good bit of just life and home family stuff. Um, my husband, um, just for a renovation update, um, my husband is going to be, um, my husband has been, um, working, um, his day job. He's a, um, he's in the building industry and he stays very busy. Um, so that is a definite full-time job. Um, and we do have our older son here also. Um, he works during the day also. Um, he has a YouTube channel. Um, he works on a small engine repair and also mechanical type stuff. So, um, and then we also have our oldest daughter. Um, she is an artist and she does wood burning and all types of artsy type of stuff. So, we and we do homeschooling and we cook from scratch so we're very very busy people um but um we definitely we keep our beliefs first and we keep our family and home life second and um things work out for us so because it's in that order so today um, it's going to be a little bit different than what I'm normally used to, um, sharing and, um, I just thought it was kind of important to share this. Um, now, uh, I am a homeschool teacher, but I'm not a teacher. Um, but this just kind of keeps on, um, uh, just kind of keeps on, uh, be being reiterated, um, for us as a family and for me personally. Well, us as a family. Um, and one thing is it kind of seems like there's always these lessons. Sorry, if there's a bee that comes around me, I'm going to react. Um, uh, sorry. There's been like a a uh, bumblebee, carpenter bee hanging out here just a minute. And they're big and scary, but, you know, they they won't hurt me, I think. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, um, so... The lesson for this week and this morning, this morning, um, our pastor, um, there is a, a, a group of um, men for, um, for the assembly we're a part of, and um, our pastor, and um, they call them the brothers, um, they all are a part of this group. Well, our pastor gets on there and talks often, and the elders and the deacons, and um just a lot of does there's a lot of enrichment um and growing and discipleship that comes with being connected like that with your assembly family um and there is one for the males and there is one for the ladies the ladies are called the sisters um and um we just keep in contact um daily weekly um and it's just, it's a beautiful thing. You learn so much. Um, so this week, our pastor, or today, this morning, our pastor got on the brothers and my pa my husband um, shared with uh, with me and, um, and our oldest daughter and our family. Um, our oldest son comes home for, for lunch, um, a good bit of, um, of instruction for us. And I, I say the word instruction because... Um, instruction is very good, but most people don't want it because they feel confident in their own pride and selfishness. So, um, instruction is the word I would use. Um, and, um, it was very, um, enlightening, but very strong to where it would really get your attention. 
and I'm extremely grateful for that. Um, the reason is because without instructions, without instruction from those that are over you, um, you would um, you wouldn't know where to go, and you kind of just guess and wander around. Um, obviously, we use and my husband um, and us. Um, we use in our home the great instruction book so um you know um, instructions very important and so um the thing for today is um is take instruction don't be too high and mighty to not take it and accept it when you can get it um, from those that are specifically in rule directly in rule over you that are the ones that are put there by the Almighty um, to give you instruction. You definitely want to follow the right ones. If you follow the wrong ones, it's going to lead you astray. Um, you know, um, discerning um, and just knowing who you're, who the leaders really are and not just allowing any Joe Schmo to come into your life and speak into it. You don't want that um, because they will lead you astray. Um, you have to be sound with, you know, with Yah first. So, um, which brings me to the reason that I'm also sharing this. Like I said, this is a family update. So, um, I bought, okay, now I am 19 weeks pregnant. Um, and um, just turned 19 weeks as of first day yesterday, which is Sunday. And um, it's very exciting. This is our fifth child, so this isn't the first time that we've we've, you know, been pregnant or you know, done this. But it seems like for me, because we've spaced them out so far, um, sometimes remembering how things were when you're pregnant when you're younger is a lot different than when you're older and um, more seasoned, we'll say. Um, and this one is different because. Um, we weren't expecting, we weren't expecting to have more children, um, but we're extremely grateful because, um, because Yah knows everything. And anyway, sorry. Um, yeah, so we're extremely grateful for um, everything that's been put in front of us and given to us. Um, and one of the things that's going on is I bought a baby Doppler to hear the baby's heartbeat. Um, first of all, because we've decided to do a home birth this time around, which is very new for us. Um, we do have a midwife. Um, she's a licensed midwife. Um, the last several children that we've had, we've had midwives. Um, now this one is different because it's not an actual office. They actually come to me, um, come to us. So we've got that part, which is different, but we're also doing a home birth. So things are a little bit different. Um, we take our prenatals. We got an appointment for this Friday um, and very excited. Um, and all along, I've felt like this is a boy. Um, sometimes I have um, dreams or ways of I don't say ways, but I don't like use any kind of weird stuff like the superstitious junk that's out there or old wives tales. I don't really do that. Um, but God does speak to my husband and I in dreams and, um, he gives us instructions and warnings in dreams. So, um, we've learned through years to listen to them. Um, so one of them is, um, I bought a I bought a sonogram, little handheld Doppler sonogram. So um, I had been using it since about nine weeks, because that's about when the baby is. I started to feel little flutters and little kicks and stuff, and um, I'd feel you know a, a good a good bit often. So um, so with that, I I just assumed that I would be able to hear the heartbeat just as easily as I feel. The flutters well it's not always true and also found out that um, well today I decided to go on YouTube and look up some instructions on how to use this device and um, not really wanting to you know just find some people that have used it before duh right should have done that to begin with 
you know, 10 weeks ago, I could have been hearing the baby's heartbeat, but, you know, sometimes with age comes hard headedness, you know, and, um, I don't have everything figured out. I don't know everything. Um, every day is a learning process. Um, I'll be the first to tell you. So with that, I found there's this handy stuff called the sonogram, sonogram gel that came with it. This is so handy. Um, and the lady said it's, it helps transmit the sound waves properly to the actual handheld Doppler. So it's like, okay, I'm going to see about this. And so I, I, this stuff is yucky, you know, just, it's gel, but it's not like terrible, you know. So I put it on my, on my, on my stomach and in the area that they said to check. And sure enough, just as soon as I put it on there, you can hear the baby's heartbeat. And I had tears just rolling. And I'm extremely grateful. Um, it just brought me back to this morning when my husband shared with us that you listen to the instruction that's given and you will be on the right path. And I just tell you, it's awesome. It's awesome to be able to receive, first of all, get instruction from people that are properly teaching you from the instruction manual. But secondly, to know the person that is instructing you is the one that's supposed to be instructing you. So that's my lesson for today is don't be too high and mighty or high minded to not accept instruction just because it might hurt your feelings a little bit or whatever it is. Don't let it get in the way of, um, of growing and learning because the second that you cannot be taught, you're, you're finished. Um, the Bible talks about having a, a teachable spirit. And how God can't even talk to you uh, unless you have one. He can't teach you if you don't. So um, don't ever be too high that you can't be taught. Um, but I'm grateful because the mosquito. Um, I'm very grateful because today has been just a, a blessing. Um, uh, to be able to hear the baby's heartbeat for the first time. And... Um, to be able to receive instruction and to just to, just to be able to enjoy enjoy the walk that that we're on and um, I the peace I, I can't explain to you the peace w that comes with being instructed people think that in having instruction or having an instructor or someone to guide you or teacher or perhaps <coughs> excuse me <coughs> Excuse me. They think that that's bondage, but the bondage is being stuck with your own pride. That's where the bondage comes in. That's where the chains come in. So, I I encourage you to to just seek out the proper instruction, and you'll get you'll get results almost immediately. <laughs> I know I did. Um, so anyway, I'm grateful. And by the way, the heartbeat was about one, it was going like about 135, 136, 134. So, you know, from past, from when we've had children, um, that's about the range of a boy. So I could be wrong because like I said, I don't know everything. Um, but that could be a boy. So, um, I'm just... I'm just incredibly grateful if it's a boy or a girl, one or two or ten, I don't care. Um, because I wouldn't have gotten pregnant if it wasn't for Yah, for God. Um, and I'm incredibly grateful. And my baby bump is a little bit more bump-ish. So I'm, I'm grateful for that. Um, but all the nausea is gone, and that's excellent. Um... Like I said, my, my husband's uh, garden is doing really well. Um, I, I don't know if I mentioned that, but he has a very large garden. He's working. He's been tilling. He's getting a fence up around it because he knows that there's rabbits around here. So um, right now I'm sitting on the porch, 
and no we don't have rocking chairs yet we have fold out chairs and not you know but rocking chairs are coming or whatever stationary glider chairs are coming and I'm okay with that um, and I'm just grateful so don't be too don't be too wise in your own eyes to not accept instruction so bless y'all and this is our family update.